Welcome to Electron Online. We have now established that the main reason why it's so hot on the surface is that it just takes a very long time for the small amount of heat that's absorbed by the surface and makes it back into the atmosphere for that heat to make it, make it back into space. It's that delay action, the greenhouse effect, that heats up the surface to that tremendous temperature. The hottest planet surface in the solar system at 735 Kelvin or 460 degrees Celsius. It's even hotter on the surface of Venus than it is on the surface of Mercury. But what are the contributions of the gases in the atmosphere? Well, there are three main contributors to the heat retention, and so here we have the relative increase in temperature of each of the, contrib the contributors in the atmosphere. Now, part of that is the cloud cover, that very thick cloud cover. Not only does it reflect heat or reflect sunlight back into space, it also prevents heat from escaping into space, which adds an additional layer that keeps the heat in. Now, notice that these are relative effects and that you can't just simply add them all together because there's overlap on Venus, just like there's overlap on the effect of the greenhouse gases on the surface of the Earth. But independently speaking, we can say that the increase in temperature due to the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is 420 Kelvin. The increase in temperature because of the cloud cover, about 140 Kelvin. And yes, sure enough, the increase in temperature because of water vapor, even though the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere is so minute, is still about 70 Kelvin because water vapor is such a good absorber of energy. Notice we have uh, 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 COS, that's a combination of carbon monoxide and sulfide that causes a small increase in temperature. We have carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and hydrochloric acid, probably in vapor form. And so notice that the main contributors are carbon dioxide, cloud cover, and water vapor. Now, imagine the amount of effect of water vapor is one-sixth the effect of carbon dioxide, even though there's so much more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, 96.5% carbon dioxide, versus at the surface about 0.01% of water vapor to surface, and on average throughout the atmosphere only 0.002%. It's quite amazing, even though it has so little water vapor, it still has a significant effect on the temperature. But then again, even if there was no water vapor, there's so much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, not just the percentage-wise, but the vast amount of atmosphere, more than 90% or more than 90 times, not 90%, but more than 90 times as much atmosphere on Venus compared to the Earth, that heat transfers so slowly to the atmosphere that it heats up the surface to those tremendous temperatures. So again, it's the delay effect of getting the heat back in the atmosphere. It just takes such an enormous amount of time to make it through that very thick atmosphere before it can make it back to space that the surface temperature is so high. And this is then the relative contribution of those aspects of the atmosphere to that greenhouse effect.